So this uh, lateral here is an old septic field. We're going to be replacing this field here, but as you can see, we've got uh, quite a bit of root infiltration through our rocks. And then surely it's going to be going inside our puppy piping network, as you can probably see through there. So we're just going to saw this uh, in half to get rid of it as we're digging for our septic tank in this particular area. Okay, there's no splash. Okay. So bad. So you can see a lot of the root infiltration here. We just severed the pipe. So we've got a lot of not only biosolids, but also a lot of root mass. And so this is certainly going to prevent a lot of that effluent from traveling well into the field. Ew. So I just wanted to offer a brief explanation as to what's going on here. You'll quickly see that we've got that, that drain field pipeline. It's thoroughly blocked with all this uh, root matter. So this root matter, because of the soils are highly permeable, they're sandy, these uh, trees next to the drain field want to make its way to the water. And so that's what's happening here. You'll see this deep concentration of root structure around the uh, drain line of the pipe here for the drain field. So you quickly see why this thing would fail. So as we're pulling the pipe, you can quickly see how infiltrated this pipeline is with all this root mass. None of the effluents will make its way down into the drain field like this. 